Hi everyone, and welcome to TWF Explosion, or Blow Up. I am Jonathan Coachman, here with Buffy Summers and with Jackal. And it's the first time we had Buffy Summers do Explosion with us. Normally it was Conan the Barbarian. Oh, well apparently this, well, Buffy Summers said, you're right about that Jonathan Coachman. And I want to say thank you for being a follower and a backer of TWF, Sailor Moon, Power Rangers, and also Xena. Well, you're welcome, Jonathan Coachman says. Anyway, the Jackal says, that's what we're not here to talk about here on Explosion. So, an Explosion, do we have a fight to pull out? Well, we do keep in mind that there were some folks... Well, keep in mind here on Explosion, let me see if we can do this here, that we're going to have the man who won the teeth, the man who won, well, keep in mind, no, we don't want to have him. Keep in mind, Jonathan Coachman said, we are going to have one of the men here. And I believe that we're, I believe that we're going to have the world heavyweight winner here, AJ Styles, Jonathan Coachman says. Yeah, you got that right. So I'm going to open up an open challenge to anyone who thinks they're man enough or woman enough to take my TWF heavyweight winnings away from me. See, some folks might think that only the 24-7 winner or the hard needs winner would be having open dares. But, hey, the TWF heavyweight winner can do it. So can the world heavyweight winner. So I'm going to have anyone that thinks they're man enough to take this away from me. So call it the AJ Styles Open Dare. And who are you? Yeah, I'm Stone Cold Shark Boy. And since you had an open dare for anyone to be the Royal Heavyweight winner, well, I thought that Stone Cold Shark Boy should be it. Stone Cold Shark Boy. Okay, I, re I think back when I was in IW, you were nothing but a stunt, a lark. You were someone that they just laughed at. Oh, I fought back when you were teaming up with New Jack and never went anywhere. Or all those times you were always going around doing shark hand poses shit and then losing fights. And then someone in IW, and I don't know who, I don't know if it was Brother Love or Eric Bischoff or Dixie Carter, or Vince Russo, well, someone in IW back in the day thought it would be so funny to make you show play as Steve Austin, a man that I actually got stunned by. But did it actually help you? No. Then they took Christopher Daniels, which, God, he was already besmirched when he played uh, Suicide or Kill, kill Self Kill. And then they made him play Carry Man, your bullshit uh, mate. And you went against the Dudley Boys and a fish shop fight. Yeah, well, this be your lucky day, because I'm just going to give you the Styles Clash and be done with your, with your stunt and lark. Well, okay, Jonathan Coachman says, AJ Styles still being a jerk here. Here in the TWF, you'd think he would learn on look from after his fight with The Undertaker. Well, I guess he didn't, Buffy Summers said. I guess he's still a jerk and he hasn't learned anything about on look. Yeah, you're right about that, the Jackal said. But when you're either the TWF heavyweight winner or the world heavyweight winner, you don't have to on look anyone. You know? But where are you getting that from? Jonathan Coachman said, you have to on-look folks. If you're the TWF heavyweight winner, or you're the world heavyweight winner, you do have to on-look those. You know, okay, is it upside down? Yeah. 
Anyway, this is for the TWA. This is for the World Heavyweight Winnings. First, he is Shark Boy, or Stone Cold Shark Boy, and he is a TW. He is the World Heavyweight Winner, AJ Styles. Oh, AJ Styles just just slammed the elbow him. Oh no, here it comes. The Pele kick. Here it comes. The Styles clash. Oh. This is done. One, two, three. Ding, ding, ding. Here is your winner. And still the world heavyweight winner, AJ Styles. This is my house. The house that AJ Styles made. Not you, Shark Boy. You didn't make any house. And this is sad. This is the man who on Friday Night Smackdown, Jonathan Coachman said, go back and watch it, Money in the Bank, Gal in the Box following, who struck Jasmine from behind to become the, to become the world heavyweight winner. Well, the way you look at it, the Jackal says, you know, what is the reckoning book going to say? It's not going to say AJ Styles struck Jasmine from behind is just going to say AJ Styles beat Jasmine and became the world heavyweight winner. Yeah, and brought shame to a belt that goes back to 2001 YL. You know, it's this all it is, a jackal says, going to say AJ Styles beat Jasmine and became the world heavyweight winner, the jackal says. And brought shame and unlook to a belt that went back to 2001 YL with Hulk Hogan. Jonathan Coachman says, yeah, Buffy Summer said, to think that that belt's only been, only been around for at least 19 years, and now AJ Styles has now shamed it, besmirched it, and un, unlooked it. Buffy Summer says, well, we just want to take this time. To, so, once again, AJ Styles shaming, besmirching, and unlooking the world heavyweight winnings, Jonathan the Coachman says. Yeah, once again, Buffy Summer said, and he also shamed it and beat up an unlooked Shark Boy or Stone Cold Shark Boy. Is shark even an English word? No, John, no, I don't think so, the jackal says. I think shark is a borrowed word of some kind. Tooth fish might actually be the English word, since it has teeth or tooths, teeth. But anyway, I don't care. At the end of the day, Shark Boy knew what he was getting into, and I like AJ Styles. I think he'll make a good world heavyweight winner, the jackal says, or Don Covens, or Cyrus, whatever you want to call him. Same man, same Southwood. Well, anyway, it's all the time we've got here for X TWF Explosion. I'm Jonathan Coachman for Buffy Summers and the Jackal. We hope you like Explosion, and we'll see you tomorrow for Monday Night Raw.